So I've got Studio 2014 open and I'm going to use the SDL Legit application to show you how to work with the unclean files. And maybe we'll take a quick look at the TW4 and clean application as well. So what I have is a monolingual doc file. So you can see I've got the formatting showing and you can see this is just monolingual. It's a Norwegian document. And I'm going to convert this to two different types of unclean files. I've got a 2007 translation memory, that's these five files make up that translation memory, and I've got a 2014 translation memory just to finish off the translation. So I'm going to start off by converting the doc file. So if I just run Legit, which I've got installed within Studio in my little navigation pane, browse for my TM, to English. This changes the languages to the appropriate languages. I'll convert to TTX first of all because that's not going to change the file. And then I click on convert. So that runs through and does a little conversion and converts that to TTX. And then I'm going to click on bilingual doc and I'll do a conversion to bilingual doc as well. So that will go through and do the conversion to bilingual doc. So they're both finished. I close that and if I look in my folder now I've got my TTX file and I also have my back file, the back file being the original doc and the, this has been replaced with a bilingual doc so I've got the source on the left and the target on the right. The match value is in the middle, this is a 100% match which has come from my translation memory, come from my Trados 2007 translation memory where I have a zero, this is where the source has been copied across to the target because I didn't have a match. So there's a few in there as well. TTX will be the same but it's in a TTX format. In fact I'll just open that very quickly so you can see what that looks like in Tag Editor. It may not be very quickly but um, let's just wait for that to open. I'm not going to open Workbench. There we go. So that's what the TTX looks like and it's the same thing. Um, interestingly, you can see that the numbers are not segmented, and that's a, a Trados thing because it didn't handle them, it didn't handle numbers the way Studio brings them in. So you can see where I've had a match, I've got the match value in the middle, 100, and where I didn't have a match, I've got a zero, and there I've got source, and the target is the same as the source. And in this case, I've got Norwegian source, English target. So that's tag editor. So I'm going to use that bilingual doc or that unclean file and this unclean file in a new project which I'm going to create using this translation memory. So I'll come back to studio now and I'll click on new project and we'll just call it our unclean project. Next. I've got my languages so I'm okay. I'll add my files. So I want to add that one and this one, just those two files. The studio adds those and you can see from the file type identifier there that I've got a bilingual workbench file and a bilingual TTX file, which is what I wanted. So I click on next there. My translation memory is already um, is already there. So I'm going to click on if I but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disable that just for a second because I don't want to pre-translate the file to begin with. So I'll just click on finish there. So that will go through prepare my project and if I open those files now so it's pretty small I should think so let's just open them both together you can see they're not completely translated that's because the only thing that has been translated is the information that was translated from the creation process because I leveraged the Trados 2007 translation memory to pre-translate them and I prepared them so if I open those for translation now you can see that in the bilingual workbench file I've got my 100% matches where I had a translation and I've got source equals target with a zero against it where it isn't and in the TTX file I have um, draft translation status where there was no match in the TM and I've got 100% matches where there was a match in the TM so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a batch task and just pre-translate those files. And to 
do that, I'm going to say just always override the existing translation. Just drop that down to make sure we catch anything that might be a little odd. The other thing that I'm going to do is come back into here and enable my translation memory this time. And I'm also going to just drop the alignment penalty down to zero because I to get the translation memory I actually aligned the files in the first place. So I don't want to get any 99% matches. I want everything translated. So I click on finish. That will pre-translate my files. So I can open them back up again and now they're all completely translated. Here we go, which is what I want. Okay, so I'll close that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save the target file. Oh, I've got some draft in there. Well, let's just have a quick look while we've got the draft. Should be an interesting little exercise. Ah, it's because I had uh, um, I'd never translated this before, uh, but it's come across because I, it's just an email address and it's exactly the same. Is there anything else missing? No, that's what it was. So it's the email address. So I could confirm it and it would complete it. In fact, let's just confirm it so you can see. So we've confirmed that. And I had a duplicate translation on here. So let's just confirm that one as well. Save the changes. When I come back down, that's now 100%. And I could do the same thing on the TGX, but I'm not going to worry about it. So what I'll do now is I'm going to save each file separately so that we can so that I can put them in the same folder. So let me just come back again to the TGX first of all. And I'm just going to say file. Where is it? Save to save target as. And here's where I get the option. I could save the original file file format or the TTX. I'm just going to save the TTX, the Trader's Tag document, and I'm going to save it. Not in this folder, which is the project folder. I want to save it in this folder, just so that we can see where it is. So I've just copied that. Oop, oh, I do this every time with the Alt tab. So I'll just come back to here, paste that folder in, and I'm going to replace that with a little underscore at the beginning just so I know that was my target. In fact, I'll put a T in there as well. T for my target. And I'll save that. So that's the target file saved for the TTX. And now if I open up the bilingual doc, do the same thing. File, save target as. The same thing. I want to put it in this folder. And I'm going to put a little target underscore on that one too. Save it. And then I'll close that. So if I now go back to the folder, what I have now in here, <coughs> in addition to all the other files, it's looking a bit messy because I had so many files in here beforehand, but if I just sort on, oh there we go, down the bottom, I've got my two target files. So if I double click the doc first, this is my bilingual word file, unclean, but completely translated. So before where I had things um, that were not translated like this, for example, this segment down here was not translated before um, it is now. In fact, everything is translated now. So you can see I've got the Norwegian on the left and the English on the right. So this is an unclean bilingual doc file that I might want to give to my customer. That's complete. If I open up the TTX, probably should have left Tag Editor running because it just takes a little while to start up. Don't bother starting Workbench. There's my TTX and everything's segmented, including the number now actually, because Studio finished that off, which it didn't do for the bilingual doc um, because Studio wouldn't have picked it up because of the difference in the file types. But everything else is there and it's all completely translated, so there's my finished TTX. Now, as we know, getting the target file out of the, uh, the original target file out of, out of the TTX is straightforward, but if you haven't got Workbench, it's harder to get a clean file from this bilingual file. So what I'm going to do is show you another little application. This is called TW4Wing Clean. This was written by a chap called Tom Imhoff. Nice little application, quite simple. So I just drag the bilingual word file into here, which is that one. Make sure I've got this checked. Remove TW4Wing styles from the target document. It tells you what it's going to do. And you can see that it just depends um, cleaned to the file name. So I click on clean up. It's now cleaning. Didn't even run this before I decided to record this. Ah, clean up 
finish so that's good so good job it worked so what I have now is the original is still exactly as it was that's my bilingual doc but I have this clean doc and if I double click that one it should be the English file let's have a look and it is so now it's a monolingual English file so I've got the clean file as well so without using Chardos I've been able to create the documents that I needed to give to the client just using Studio and a couple of free open exchange applications to help me um, work through that workflow. So I hope that was reasonably clear, not too complicated, um, and I hope 